Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my online lesson on linear simultaneous equations. So if you're a student sitting foundation tier, these are the only type of simultaneous equations you will see. If you are sitting higher, there are uh, simultaneous equations that have quadratics in them as well that you'll need to learn. So let's look at this question here. This question says solve these simultaneous equations and we're given these two equations here to solve. So there's a simple process that we're going to go through in order to find out what the value of x is and what the value of y is. The first thing I'm going to do to make sure my working out is really clear is I'm going to number these two equations. So I'm going to call this equation 1 and this equation 2. It's really clear with my working out what I'm doing on each step. The first step is to make sure that the number that's in front of the y values is the same. Now I can do this with the x values instead, um, but it's usually easier to go for the y's every time, so I'm going to stick to that. So here I've got a 2y, and here I've got a 3y. It doesn't matter for now that it's a negative 3y, I'm just focusing on the numbers. So I've got to think, what number can I make those both into by multiplying them? Well, I can make them both into a 6. So first equation, to make that 2y into 6y, I'll need to multiply everything by 3. And this means I need to multiply everything in the equation by 3. So 6x times 3 is 18x. 2y times 3 is 6y. And minus 3 times 3 is minus 9. So this gives me a new equation. I'm going to call this equation, equation 3. Now there's equation 2. To make that 3y into a 6y, I'm going to times it by 2. So times in everything in that equation by 2 gives me 8x minus 6y equals 22. I'm going to call this equation 4. So now I've got two new equations, and doing this little trick, I now have my y values the same. This is where I'm going to start looking at the signs in front of them. Now, if the signs are the same, we subtract the equations from each other. If the signs are different, like in this example, then I'm going to add these two equations together. So I'm just going to write that I'm going to do equation 3 add equation 4. So I've got 18x add 8x is 26x. I have 6y add minus 6y, which means that these cancel out. And that's the whole reason I'm doing this step, is to get rid of my y values. So I can just write equals, and I've got minus 9 add 22, which is 13. It's a very simple equation I've got to solve now. This means that x is 13 divided by 26, which is a half. So my answer for x is a half. I've still got to find my value for y. This is the final step. Now I know that x is a half, I can substitute this into either one of these equations I have here, or even these ones. But probably the best idea is to do it in one of these and pick the one that looks simplest. It's completely up to you. Either one will work. I'm going to go for the second one because it hasn't got negatives in it. So I'm going to tell the examiner what I'm doing here by writing substitute x is a half into equation 2. And let's see what happens. So I have 4x, well 4 to the half is 2, minus 3y equals 11. So I'm going to take away 2 from both sides, minus 3y equals 9. So divide by minus 3 on both sides, give me y is minus 3. So that's my solution to this question. Now, once I've got that solution, there is a way of me checking that I've definitely got this question right. This is a four mark question, so I want to make sure that I've not spent all that time and made a mistake. I've definitely got it right. So the way I can check is by substituting my answer, these two values, 
into these equations at the top, the best one to pick would be the one that you didn't choose for the last step. So because I substituted these into this bottom equation in order to get my answer, I'm now going to substitute them into the top equation to check that I get the same result. So let's see what happens. I have 6x plus 2y equals minus 3. Well, that's 6 lots of a half add 2 lots of minus 3 equals minus 3. 6 lots of a half is 3. Add 2 lots of minus 3 is minus 6. And yes, that does work because 3 add minus 6 is minus 3. So my equation is correct and I know I've banked my 4 marks. Here's a second example for us to look at where the steps are going to be slightly different. So I'm going to start by numbering my equations as I did before. And again, I'm going to look at my values in front of my y's. I've got a 4y and a 3y. So I'm going to make them both into 12y. So my first equation needs multiplying by 3. This will give me 9x minus 12y equals 0. And my second equation needs multiplying by 4. It gives me 20x minus 12y equals 44. These are my equations 3 and 4. Now this is the part where it gets slightly different is this time the signs are the same so I need to subtract these equations from each other. Now I'm going to pick equation 4 subtract equation 3 simply because I can see here I have 20x and 9x it's going to be more sensible to do 20x take away 9x than the 9x take away 20x. I want to avoid going into negatives. So I'm going to do equation 4 take away equation 3. So this gives me 11x and then here I've got minus 12y take away minus 12y. So the two negatives make a positive. So I've got minus 12y add 12y which is 0. You should always at this step be eliminating your y's if you've done this step correctly. So then equals and 44 at 0 is 44. So x is 4. So x is 4. I need to find out what y is. So I'm going to do substitute x is 4. Now I'm going to pick, well it doesn't really matter. Both these equations look quite similar. I'm going to pick equation 1. Either one will work. So equation 1. This will give me 3x is 12, minus 4y is 0, so I'm going to minus 12 from both sides, so minus 4y is minus 12, divide by minus 4, Oops. divide by minus 4, I get y is 3, and that's my solution. Again, I'm just going to double check that I've done this correctly. So this time in my last step, I substituted these values into the top equation to get my answer. So to check I've done it right, I'm going to check with the bottom equation. So let's see if I did this right. So 5x minus 3y is 11. So 5 times 4 minus 3 times 3 should be 11. Well, that's 20 minus 9. So I've definitely done this correct. So again, this was another four mark question, and I know I've definitely got those four marks right. Here's two questions for you to try. I've picked one where the signs are the same, and one where the signs are different. And also this one here, has got a negative value in it. So these are our standard simultaneous equations. I've not picked easy ones. If you pause the video 
and then unpause when you're ready to see the solutions. Here's the full work solution. It's a bit crammed in, I didn't have much space to do it in, but the final solution you should get for the first one is that x is 4 and y is minus 2. And for the second one, it's a bit trickier. We only had to multiply the first equation by 3 in order to get my y values the same. And we also ended up that x is 3.5 and then y is minus 4. Thank you for watching.